when I was a kid, I'd take a trip every summer down to Mississippi, visit my granny and her antebellum world. I'd run barefooted all day long, climbing trees free as a song. One day, I happened to catch myself a squirrel. Well, I stuffed him down in an old shoe box and punched a couple holes in the top. When Sunday came, I snuck him into church. I was sitting way back in the very last pew, showing him to my good buddy Hugh. When that squirrel got loose, went totally berserk. What happened next is hard to tell. Some thought it was heaven, others thought it was hell. But the fact that something was among us was plain to see. As the choir sang, I surrender all, the squirrel ran up hard, Newland's coveralls, hard leap to his feet, said, Something's got a hold on me! Yeah! The day the squirrel went berserk, in the first so righteous church, in a sleepy little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in the Bible. They were junkies and shouting, Hallelujah! Seven deacons and the pastor got saved And $25,000 was raised And 50 volunteered for missions in the Congo on the spot <laughs> And even without an invitation There were at least 500 rededications And we all got rebaptized whether we needed it or not Now you've heard the Bible story, I guess How he parted the waters for Moses To pass all the miracles God has wrought in this old world one I'll remember till my dying day is how he put that church back on the narrow way with a half-crazed Mississippi squirrel. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting hallelujah. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous Church in a stupid little town of